In today's lesson, you will learn how to use the modal verbs could, should, and would. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English use in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will teach you how to use the modal verbs could, should, and would. First, what are the modal verbs used in English? They are can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, and must. Some people in some uses will also consider ought, had better, dare, and need to be modal verbs too. But in this lesson, I'm just going to help you with could, should, and would because they seem to cause the most confusion for English learners. I'll also only include how they are most commonly used and teach you other ways to use them in another lesson. And in the future, I'll also make another lesson about using them with have plus the past participle for talking about things that didn't really happen in the past. Let's first go over the pronunciation of these three words. Could, should, and would. They all rhyme, and the vowel sound in the middle is uh, uh, like could, uh, could, could, should, would. The L is silent in each of those. And would is pronounced exactly the same as would, W-O-O-D, like that you get from trees. At the very end of this field, the very, very end, you have to stay for the whole thing, you can watch me try and say a popular English tongue twister that uses both would words and the word could. Now it's time for the definitions of these words and some sample sentences with them. Could can be the past tense of can, as in, when I was younger, I could sleep really well. Or to say that something is possible, like, I think we could walk all the way instead of driving because something is close enough that it's not too far to walk. You wouldn't get tired walking there. Or three, if you want to talk about something that is not possible, but you wish it was. For example, I wish I could speak 10 languages, but I don't have that much time to study them. Should can be used to give advice, as in, you should study English more. Or it can be used to ask for an opinion, like, what do you think I should do? Would can be used to talk about something that is possible, but hasn't happened. Usually used with the word if, like, your English would be better if you study more. Or it can be used to say that you want to do or to have something. For example, I would like to make more English lessons for YouTube, but I really need to get more subscribers first. And you can also use it to ask a question in a polite way, like, would you like to sit down? Now I want to go over with you how to use these words in negative sentences. To use these in negative sentences, we use the word not after the, after the modal verb. And we usually make them into contractions. Without a contraction, it sounds a little too formal. Although sometimes we do use it without it for more emphasis. Here's some examples. I could not stay awake that long, so I went to bed early. We would be more likely to say, I couldn't stay awake that long, so I went to bed early. You should not eat junk food. As a contraction, it is, you shouldn't eat junk food. If you really want to emphasize that point, that it's a bad thing to do, then you might say should not, but you put a little more emphasis, a little more stress on the word not, as in, you should not eat junk food. I would not do that if I were you. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Now I have a short practice exercise that I want you to try to do while you are watching this video. So for this, you fill in the blank with either could, should, or would. Number one, blank, you like something to drink. Two, my advice is that you really blank watch this entire video. Number three, I wish I blank fly. Now, I hope that wasn't too hard. 
This time I'm going to go ahead and tell you the full complete sentences instead of waiting, making you wait till the end of this video. So number one, would you like something to drink? Number two, my advice is that you really should watch this entire video. Number three, I wish I could fly. This time I have a homework assignment for you too. In the comments after this video, I want you to make three sentences with could, should, and would using any of the definitions that I talked about earlier with those words. And if you do this in the first 24 hours after this video is on YouTube, I will correct your English and give you feedback on what you wrote. It may take a few days before I get to everyone, but I will get to everybody. And I may have time to do more after 24 hours, but I'm not going to promise it in case I'm really busy or something. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. You can also sign up to get emails and more English help from me. And if you have time, you can stay and watch more of my English lessons here on YouTube. That's all for today. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible. Now, here's a popular English tongue twister with would and could. And I'll say it as fast as I can, and for extra credit, try to say it, try to maybe record yourself saying it, and send me a recording. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I can't believe I did that.